Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Zing and Kai. <laughs> We're making this video today to address something that I've been recently asked by a few people about, which is acting. I don't know if all y'all know, but Kai and I are both actors. I specifically um, have a focus in TV and film. And, and I have more of a focus in theater, musical theater to be exact. Yes, and so uh, we've been doing this for years. <laughs> oh boy, have we. <laughs> We've People are probably shocked by our age. We haven't revealed that. And we won't be doing and that. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had a few people to ask me certain questions about kind of like how to get started. And so we're just going to make sort of an introductory video about how to get involved and started in the industry from a TV and film perspective and then from a theater, theater perspective. musical theater perspective. So I have three questions for Kai. And I have three questions for Zing. Yes, yes, yes. So let's get into it. Yes. Do you want to go first? Sure. All right. My first question for you is, I'm not union. Never done this before. How do I get started? Great question, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I have an answer. So if you're non-union and union, if you're non-union and you have no idea, like have no idea how to get started, I would just, first of all, take a look around you. Where do you live? Right, because if you live in Saginaw, Michigan, <laughs> let's go ahead and try to get to Detroit, maybe, or Chicago. You want to live in places like LA, New York, Chicago, Atlanta, cities that have somewhat of a presence, a, a, an industry presence. Yeah. And if you don't, it's very, it's going to be very hard to get started. Yeah. So I would say, first of all, make sure you're paying attention to your location. Second of all, I would hop on Actors Access, right? A lot of people would say Backstage, which Backstage is also great, but I personally didn't have a great experience with Backstage. I feel like the auditions that I was looking for was more on Actors Access. So you wanna start to submit yourself, you wanna put a headshot, get a headshot. Um, if you don't have a resume, that's what Actors Access is for. You're gonna submit yourself for auditions and sort of kind of build somewhat of a resume from what you get there and then you need to start a search for an agent i think i'm gonna stop there yeah we'll do another video going in depth on how to get an agent in depth on audition technique all that kind of jazz so that's just kind of like the base level i would say yeah yeah you want to get an agent because you're not really doing a whole lot of uh, auditioning for TV. real projects yeah. in tv and film without one so you need to get one <laughs> Hi, Leah. Yes. My question for you is the same. I am non-union. I have never done a plan. I didn't even do a skit at church before. How do I get started? <laughs> okay. So it's very similar in you have to get all your things together. So that is a headshot. That is a repertoire. A repertoire is basically a catalog of things that you are prepared to perform in an audition room. So that is a song to sing if you are a singer. That is a monologue and you'll find monologues from plays. Read plays, I can't stress this enough. That is so important. If you are trying to do theater, you need to be well versed in what's going on stage. So those are two big things. I. Probably we'll do another sidebar video of this, but I cannot stress this enough. You get what you pay for, okay? Being an actor is about investing in yourself, okay? It's not a conventional job and it requires a lot of investment. So if you're paying $20 for your headshots, expect to get $20 headshots. I'm not saying pay an arm and a leg, <laughs> Lord knows I didn't, but you want to make an investment in yourself where you are at least buying good quality headshots because that's what people are, they're gonna see that and they're judging you off rip. So definitely, you know, invest in headshots and then investment in websites. So you said backstage, it's different for theater. I actually found a lot of success with backstage with theater. Casting networks is another great website. So these are Playbill's free. Shout out to Playbill. So these are sites that you want to start searching for. If you are new to the game, you don't know anything about the audition world, you wanna get on these sites because they're gonna tell you where you're gonna find these auditions. As you said, location, that is very big. If you are serious about this craft and you don't wanna stick to like local 
non-paid gigs, you want to make sure you're in an, a prime location for theater. So for theater, that would be New York, if I'm being really honest. There's, there's theater scenes in Chicago, there's theater scenes in LA, but New York, where Broadway is Broadway, that's where you're gonna find a lot of work and not just Broadway, you're gonna find non-union gigs. I gained a lot of momentum in New York being non-union and doing professional theater and getting paid to do it. So if you're serious about your craft, you'll change locations. Hmm. Um, period. <laughs> so I don't know if, I mean, I could go on and on about this, but how to get started get a repertoire so things you are comfortable with performing in the audition room get some headshots and start searching on these websites for these auditions i will say a lot of these websites because she said playbill was free a lot of these websites are going to require you to pay like some sort of fee like maybe 70 or 80 to 150 for like a yearly subscription it's yeah. worth it it's worth it how, like how i else said you're going to get an audition right like i said being an actor is about investing in yourself period so if you are serious about this you gonna wait a couple more tables you gonna do a little more survival jobs <laughs> to pay for these websites to pay for these headshots yeah. all right <laughs> okay. second question we haven't written down sorry um so i have to know what is an audition like for tv and film they are super, super exciting, super nerve-wracking. Since 2020, we've been doing self-tapes, which is, to me, a blessing and a curse. Yes. Um, but before I talk about self-tapes, I'll talk about what it was like to audition because we might move back into that, who knows. Um, I know, right? Um, so going to an audition is typically, for TV and film, you're typically gonna get sides maybe two days to a day, maybe the same day that you have to go mm -hmm. into your audition. So you have to work on that memorization or pulling the lines off of the piece of paper and being able to engage with your reader, which a lot of times will be the casting director or like the casting assistant. You go into these little shabby little buildings, these small little shabby little buildings that have sometimes like cobwebs and stuff like that. <laughs> and you see a bunch of other actors who fit your profile. They're gonna look like you. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna look like you. You're gonna see somebody that you recognize from TV. Don't get don't get intimidated. I did that one time. I walked to an audition and I saw this girl that I saw on the show and I freaked out and I literally bombed the audition and I was so mad at myself. Um, and I didn't even say hi to the wow. girl. <laughs> you know, that's real. We will do a separate video on this because no one talks about it, but <laughs> you're going to psych yourself out. You're going to bomb auditions. You're going to mess up. And that's okay. <laughs> so you go in, you see a bunch of people and then you sign in and then you literally go in and you have maybe five minutes to show what you got. So you want to make sure that you just like have fun with it. Make sure you're uh, like uber prepared so yeah. that your nerve because your nerves are going to be you're going to be like super nervous like more nervous than you've ever been and you're in this small little room with this casting director in this camera that they set up and um maybe like a like a blue or gray wall behind you and you just read the scene they might ask you to do it again with like a note so you don't want to marry yourself to the way that you've decided it should go yeah uh, you want to be flexible and malleable. They might not ask you to do it again. They might just be like, thank you. And you just be like, thank you. <laughs> you know, so uh, that's pretty much how it's, what it's like. And then a lot of times you never hear back. Uh, <laughs> and that's the times, tea. <laughs> times you're not going to hear back. That's the thing. So that's what an audition is like in TV and so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's your question for me? <laughs> what is an audition like? <laughs> okay, so... There's a lot of similarities between TV and film, and then there are differences. So similarities, going in prepared. You guys, I cannot stress this enough. Now I will say the cool thing about theater, the initial audition, you usually are doing stuff you already know. So this is your chance to shine, give your very best, show off exactly what you know you're good at. So. Whatever song that is, you better have known all the lyrics. You better know all the notes. You better go in, know the tempo you want, like command the room. That initial audition for theater is literally your chance to shine. Callback's a little different. You start getting material from the show and it's like, mm. um, but that initial audition is your chance to shine. So my, not advice, I won't give advice right now, but what it's like to audition for theater initially is going in and knowing exactly what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So 
please be prepared. I, I have been to a million auditions and there's still to this day, people who come unprepared, they don't know their lyrics. So they want to hold the paper. They don't know, you know, their words to their monologue. And that's the first way to get a casting director to write you off. And like, not call come you back. on. It's, and some, sometimes it has nothing to do with talent, you guys. It's about who's the most prepared. So one thing I will say is be prepared. What else is it like to audition for theater? So in the room, you're gonna find the casting director. You're gonna, if you're doing a musical, you're gonna find the musical director usually. Those are the people that are gonna be in the room. Maybe the, the director of the show, uh, the choreographer. So these are you know, people that are gonna be in the audition room. Don't get intimidated. They want you to be good. Believe me, they want you to be good. It makes their life a lot easier. So basically what it's like is just go in and own it, kill it. And that comes with preparation. Oh yeah. Boom. <laughs> okay. All right, last question My for this video. Third and final question. What's one piece of advice you would give to someone just getting started? Just getting started. I would say employ and pray and ask God for a massive amount of patience. Yeah. Um and and never compare yourself with another actor because you'll find that there'll be years where it's just like every actor you know just booked and it's like you ain't got a call back in sight or you feel like you should get a call back or you feel like you should have booked and it just doesn't go your way for whatever reason reasons beyond your control so i would just say understand why you're doing it and make sure that your focus is on getting better right so that's like staying in class that's like paying attention yes. to little isms and schisms that you have that um aren't lending aren't allowing you to be your best self in your audition and make sure that over time, like you're getting stronger and stronger because what's happening is the more you're auditioning, you're building relationships with casting officers, yes. which is the biggest win mm -hmm. because they're gonna keep calling you back until producers agree with them that you deserve the role, that you're right for the role. I'm sorry, everybody deserves. So that could mean you go on 100 auditions over a four year period and not get anything, right? But that 101 <laughs> audition, you book. It yeah. literally happens like that. So do not get discouraged that over time you're going to be seeing a lot of people around you getting their piece of the pie because your time is coming and what God has for you is for you. It will come. I'm a living testi testimony? testament. I'm a living testament to that. Yeah. Wow, my vocab is not what it's supposed to be to that. It's not giving um, what it's supposed, supposed to be. <laughs> Um, so just make sure that you focus on yourself, you focus on your growth, and you understand that your time will come. It's predestined. Amen. <laughs> okay, what's your last question for me? My last question for you is, what is a cattle call? Like, Ooh. and what is that like, non-union versus union? Like, AEA versus no EA. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, cattle calls, you guys. Exactly what it sounds like is what it is, Okay. When you think of cattle, you just think of like a bunch of cows. <laughs> in an audition, as a non-union, this is what you're going to be going to for the most part. You know, it's, it's hard to get an appointment if you are just starting out. So a cattle call is literally everybody and their mama showing up for the same audition. <laughs> most of the time, people are not even right for the role, but they're there at that audition because they want to be seen. They want to get in the room. So if you have a cattle call, be prepared to wait. <laughs> in New York specifically, you're gonna see that people wake up at like the crack of dawn to sign up for these auditions. So if you're one of those people, kudos to you. I, on the other hand, need to rest the voce. So I'm more of a like, get there at 8 a.m., you know? Which is still early. <laughs> Which is still early, you guys. But by the time I get there, 100 people on the list, 50 people on the list. So it really depends on the call, but a cattle call, just be prepared for lots of people. Basically, as a non-union, this is where you're gonna find that mostly. AEA is when you join the union, and this is where you start getting appointments for auditions. You submit, and they're like, okay, show up at 1 p.m. Like, that is what happens when you become union. Now, I will say this. I started, I'm still, non-union i have i have credits to become union but as a non-union don't be afraid to show up to union auditions unless it literally is just like only want to see union people appointment only then obviously don't show up 
But if you see an audition for a union job and you fit the description, there's your chance. That's the cool thing about theater is that you don't need anyone advocating for you. You can advocate for yourself. Come on. So go in prepared and sometimes you'll get some credits for the union like I did. So yeah, basically that's the difference between non-union and union. It's a lot of people versus appointment. <laughs> I will say this, if you have an agent, you can be non-union and get an appointment. Cause yes. I never That's experienced uh, cattle calls. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> um, when I was in New York, I was always getting appointments to those um, calls. Yeah, and, and here, there I was. As a non-union. <laughs> there I was at the cattle call being number 121, mm -hmm. being seen and getting a call back. So literally, like literally, it doesn't matter if you're union, non-union, agent, no agent in theater. It's about your work ethic. If you want this, you'll do it, period. Because made some strides. I've done a lot of contracts because of that grind, sitting there for hours, you know, trying to get in the room and be seen. Yeah. So that is the difference. Cattle calls are a nightmare. COVID makes it a little bit different, but yeah. That's it. <laughs> that is it. Well, thank you so much, Kylie, for your participation in this video. Thank you for your participation. <laughs> what? Because she didn't participate in the last one or the one before that or the one before that. I, was, I, was I know, I know. <laughs> this has been singing Kai. I know. <laughs> This was a fun video, and like we said, we are gonna do a lot more breakdowns, audition techniques. So um, many more. We so have many more. So much to impart on this topic, particularly. Yeah. So we're gonna break them down into different videos. Yeah. Out. So just let us know if you have any specific questions. questions. We'd be more than happy to answer. Uh, inbox us if you have any questions about what we said here, any uh, specifications you'd be interested in learning we got y'all yeah we know what it feels like to just get started and we know what it's like to have someone who can answer your questions so don't hesitate to ask all right thank you so much for watching it's zing and kai Hi,